is the morning of the surgery and we're heading out. I'm just gonna take the Uber to the hospital. Just waiting on um, Derica to come back. Probably is awake. I'm awake early. Yeah, he's going to be anxious as well. Mm. Gift of life. So you what tell them what's right? Um, so my them interview me mm -hmm. and then my father tell them a story and then them script it and then them send it to me and then we'll kind of go back and forth and edit the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> so edit the, um, so. the article. So if some of you don't know, Erica did a article for NHS Art and Donor. Yes, so you can yes. check it out on Instagram. You can see the story to see. Yeah, it is at NHS Organ Donor. Um, so I just gave them a quick summary of my journey from last year, January, so that's January 2018, as to how I came to the decision of giving my dad a kidney. Um, yeah, so if it. you want like a box story, then you can just um, follow their page, that, follow it, read yeah. it, get inspired, be inspired, share. Where are we going? Listen, we'll pass it. Oh, we pass where we're going because <laughs> no, because <I'm> <laughs> we're chatting. So. This is my old department around the corner. So they're gonna work here as well. Used to, used to be braided. Braided. Bye guys. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Okay. Um, if you wait for your bedside, yep. I will call you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is where Bertha is staying. Yeah. It's quite spacious. Very big, very comfortable. <laughs> oh, you're feeling? It's okay. November the 7th. Um, I'm anxious, mm. but I'm here. <laughs> yeah, but what, what's like going through your mind? Like it's happening. Yeah. Because there's been such a big lead up to it. So many tests, um, assessments, mm. you know, appointments, can we call this appointments? Yeah. Injection. You don't care to eat blood <laughs> tests. You know, we care to eat. <laughs> you were in like so many stuff to prepare for this moment, so it's here. Tell us about this about um what happened this morning like, so far. So this morning we woke up, you stayed with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I got up this morning, um what time did you wake up? Mm -hmm. Around around six o'clock, got up, showered, wasn't 
born um, well I was in a lot to eat so I didn't have any breakfast still milled by mouth um, until 7 so still milled by mouth until 12 o'clock so didn't eat, didn't drink, usually just brushed my teeth, showered got my stuff and left and yeah and um, what I like my so I did my weight, did my height, um, I need to do a urine test and a change, I'm in my gown now, and also, I think that's it, they, they go through your um, consent form and they go through your questions, and that's it, so now we're just waiting um, for her to come back so we can do some more tests, blood pressure as well, they did blood pressure, yeah, blood pressure is, blood. Yeah. Blood pressure is perfect by the way. <laughs> My non stress wing. <laughs> I drove my stress. I'm not going to I'm not going to They're gonna do her cannula because she has quite a bit of anxiety, so she's gonna do the cannula here. And they brought the stuff to do everything. Um, she's just gone to see her friend. She's just gone to see her friend, so she'll be back in a sec to do the cannula. So they say when you go to the operation, will be in like one hour. You will be around. You will be doing the operation at like the next one hour, so you'll be down. You'll be back around three o'clock. Kidney, left side. Over the left. <laughs> Do you want your head up a bit more or is that okay? A bit more. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Right, you have it as far as you want, just let me know when you're comfortable, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be here, Derek. <laughs> here we go. I can't go beyond anesthetic. Is this it? Yes. This is where you're gonna do it. Yes. It is now 2.33. So there's gonna be also the hospital at 3 o'clock. And I'm heading back there just so I can be there when she's out. So we'll see how every girl is doing. And we'll catch up back with you guys. Quick update, I'm still waiting. Half an hour later, and this is the longest half an hour in my life. <laughs> well, I'm still waiting. I asked them just now um, what's happening, but they said that they're waiting on the nurse and they're putting with the lights. So, sorry about that. They're waiting on the nurse to bring Derek up. So, I'm waiting on the nurse as well. Do you see the surgeon seem to finish? Mm -hmm. They're gonna come up here. Okay. They probably just for you to rest and mm -hmm. try to be standing up to go back and work. Well, my heart rate was just increasing, increasing. That's why I took so long. Mm -hmm. Instead of three, heart rate was just going up, going up, going up. Like, so, it's not right. So, this is a cause. Did they tell you? They called the um, 
anesthetic. Mm -hmm. And she was like, don't give me any more fluid. Okay. And my eyes were puffy. Mm -hmm. And my face was puffy, but I was like, this because my friend made me cry. <laughs> and she was leaving. She was like, I came in puffy. I'm like, girl, mm -hmm. my friend did it. So that period comes. Mm -hmm. Um, throat burning. And then I was dizzy. Mm -hmm. So that, like, everything was just spacey, like, like spacious, like, I can't explain it. So you still feel dizzy now? No, I was just drowsy. Mm -hmm. I felt drowsy then as well, but it was just so many different weird feelings. It's just like, mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> that was my mood shit. <laughs> So when you just wake up, do you feel better than than now? Than we yeah. No. Mm -hmm. but, well, they gave you strong painkillers, so then the pain is like just stopped. Mm -hmm. And then on, when it come came again, they gave you another dose. Okay. Whereas now it's a low, low dosage, mm -hmm. so I'm just, I still got that back, like that pain running in the background. Okay. But you have the thing to just press when you press it, yeah. But even then, you still feel it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please. 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 I wanted to vomit. Mm. They gave me this, but they're like, it's no more. But then the vomit couldn't come up because my belly is so tense. Yeah. It was disgusting. So how you belly feel now? I'm starving, mate. You hungry? I'm so hungry. You say you can't eat it around one until next hour or until the surgery until the surgery okay but I still feel like I want to vomit but I feel like I don't have food to vomit to vomit yeah I, I don't know where your dad is but I'm alive mm. he's still in the field he's having his surgery he's now. having it now yeah, okay he came in after me mm -hmm. he went in after me okay so thank you so so much for watching this video this has definitely been the most nerve-wracking thing that i've ever done but with god at the center of my life i successfully donated a kidney to my dad and we are both happy and healthy now and he's recovered so so well he says that he feels like 15 by god's grace he's no longer on dialysis and he's slowly but surely getting his life back on track so thank you thank you thank you so much to the nurses to the surgeons to everyone that was on this journey with me i really felt your prayer support and love and to my friends thank you so much for always being there and i literally mean always being there i've never once felt alone on this journey and for that i'm forever grateful for you guys and if you have made it this far in the video please sign up to become an organ donor and i understand that not everyone will be able to become a living donor so please at least try to donate your organs when you die you can sign up to donate organs when you die in the uk or at least donate blood because sadly at least a third as in minimum of people that are currently waiting for a transplant and specifically a kidney transplant are from the black community because no one donates and um a lot of people have died waiting for that transplant call and a lot more will die without or help as a community so please if you have the time you can sign up um, to donate and give someone the gift of life at organdonation.co.uk take care guys love you all bye